Okay, forgers, today let's talk spoons. Okay, not really actual spoons, but we're gonna talk about metaphorical spoons. Maybe you've heard about the spoon theory, and it's usually used to describe um, what life is like for people with chronic illness or disease. So the brief version goes something like this. Uh, you have a certain amount of spoons every morning and the activities you do during the day use up spoons. And so you may run out of spoons if you don't, you know, portion them out right throughout the day. So like getting up and taking a shower might be three of your 20 spoons for the day, something like that. Um, when I originally read about it, because I'm a sarcastic bitch in my head sometimes, uh, it said that the lady who came up with this theory used actual spoons at a restaurant and like handed them to her friend to explain the theory. And in my head, I was just like, duh, when you run out of spoons, you just wash them, right? <laughs> That's what you would do with actual spoons. Um, anyway, not important how my crazy mind works. But I want to talk about how to use spoons better or how to get more spoons in a day, okay? Um, if you do suffer from chronic illness or disease, um, as I do, you know that some days you wake up with more spoons than other days. Um, this is not only true for people with chronic illness and disease. This is really true for everybody, although people with chronic illness and disease tend to have a more limited amount of spoons even on a good day and have a very limited amount of spoons on a bad day. So where's this going? One, you can increase the amount of spoons you get in a day, okay? Stay active. That is number one for so many chronic illnesses or diseases or degenerative conditions. Like I have POTS, so, and I talked about it in a different video. Go find it if you wanna know more, but, um, where am I going with this? Staying active. A lot of people I read about in POTS groups are like, I just don't exercise, I just can't, it makes me feel shitty, I'm just not doing it. But the number one thing that doctors tell you to do besides drink water and eat salt is you need to stay active, okay? Because the less active you are, the more your body and its systems are gonna kind of deteriorate in their ability to deal with different things, like for your lungs and your heart rate and things to you know ramp up when they need to and go back down when they're supposed to. So take really good care of yourself, okay? Sleep an adequate amount. Make sure you get rest when you need rest. Stay active and be mindful of what you put in your body. I know, so for my example, right, if you listen to my POTS video, cutting out dairy and gluten helped my POTS a lot, um, which if I eat a little bit of gluten on one day, I don't really notice it. But if I continue to eat gluten, to even two days or three days in a row, I will just be exhausted. Okay, so you need to pay attention to those little cues. It's not gonna happen immediately, like right after you eat a crappy food. And I don't mean crappy like nobody should eat it, but a food that doesn't work for your body, which is different for everybody, okay? But definitely more veg, more fruit, less processed, okay? That's gonna be my general, we'll call it done there. So you can increase your spoons by taking care of yourself. So the other thing is using spoons wisely. So I was just listening to a great training on Skillshare with Felix Harder um, about coaching, life coaching, fitness, wellness coaching, coaching. And one way to get more spoons <laughs> We'll just keep using the spoons analogy. One way to not get more spoons, but to use your spoons more wisely is to automate decisions. 
okay, or automate things in your life that you can. If you can delegate something to someone else, like, you know, give your child the responsibility to feed an animal or put your bills on auto pay so you don't have to mentally worry about it each month, do it. Because each decision and task you do during the day takes away from the amount of mental energy, physical energy, and, you know, spoons that you have in a day. So anything that you don't have to think about helps save spoons for other things that are more important. Um, one great example, so one example was Steve Jobs. So he simplified his wardrobe to just like jeans and a black t-shirt, okay? You don't have to go that far. If you want to, awesome. Um, but if you have an office job that's probably not going to work or just any job, right? Like I have clothes for my fitness job versus clothes for everyday life because I'm not going to the store in my booty shorts and sports bra. <laughs> not usually anyway. So you can do that or just narrow down the amount of stuff you have in your wardrobe and make sure that you have things that easily coordinate with each other. Other ways are to eliminate decisions about what you're going to eat, which sounds, it sounded at first to me like, but I like eating a variety of foods and I'm not telling you, you can't eat a variety of foods. Here's how it goes. So for instance, we have decided at our house that my husband and my daughter are eating a bowl of cereal every day for breakfast. Why? Because they both enjoy eating a bowl of cereal for breakfast. I don't, however, because I tend not to like sweet things in the morning. I want savory. I want really like spicy. So the cereal doesn't really work for me. Um, but they are going to have a bowl of cereal every day for breakfast. They still get to choose different flavors of cereal. We have like five but it has narrowed down the options. I am going to have sauteed veggies with an egg every day for breakfast. That is mine. And then salt, pepper, whatever seasoning I wanna put on it. The veggies can change from day to day, but I know when I wake up in the morning, like I'm gonna to toss some veggies in a pan with some oil, let it soften up a little, add the egg, dump it out either by itself or on a rice cake, and that's my breakfast. Same with lunch. Um, example, again, I'm gonna use my daughter. She loves peanut butter and jelly. So she is gonna have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch every day during the work or school week. We're gonna change it up on weekends, but then we know what she's having, and with it, she's gonna have a vegetable whether that's carrot sticks or she likes to just eat spinach by itself. I am going to go with, I think, a salad of some sort. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't totally figured this one out for myself yet. Also dinners, right? If you think of like the meatless Monday, taco Tuesday, Sunday roast chicken. Having some of those in your life, some of those traditions, also simplifies what you're gonna eat, right? So Taco Tuesday, I'm having tacos. They could be meat or, yeah, meat tacos. You could be meat tacos, they could be vegetarian tacos, they could be fish tacos. You could have soft shell, hard shell, like, so there's still variety in it, but you're having tacos. And I'm so sorry, there's like a lawnmower driving by. <laughs> oh, that's probably Calvin. Don't worry about Calvin. He mows grass all over the neighborhood and drives around on a riding lawnmower. Hey, Calvin. And are there any more decisions? I'm probably, if you look at your life, there's probably a ton of decisions that you could eliminate from your day to reduce your mental, the mental taxiness, right? <laughs> so, um, you guys little black boobs. That's my story, okay? So, use spoons wisely. Don't waste mental energy on things you can automate or simplify. 
Simplify, automate, and take good care of yourself so that you can have more spoons to start and that the spoons you have get used more wisely so that you have energy throughout the day, mental and physical, to get done what you need to get done and want to get done in a day, okay? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please, please, please like and subscribe because the more people we have, the more energy I can make, I can take to put into these videos, right? Uh, la, 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 la. Okay, that's it. Mwah. See you next week.